Hello everyone, Carlos here. So I want to talk to you about a PowerShell module that I wrote called Posh SSH. Right now it's in version three, and this module is supported both in Windows PowerShell and the open source version of PowerShell. So it is multi-platform. I can actually install it on Mac OS, Linux, or any other place that PowerShell runs. Now this module allows me to automate all kinds of tasks against Windows host uh, via SSH. And I have uh, tested it not too much, but it does work with some embedded devices and some networking devices out there. Now, the module itself is available in GitHub. All of the information about the module, including a description, the library that I'm using, installation instructions are here in the GitHub readme itself. It also includes all of the different ciphers and keys that are supported. It does not support everything that OpenSSH supports, and it also has a wink, wink, donate button if you want to donate. Now, the main place for you to go and install the module itself is going to be the PowerShell gallery. Once you go into the PowerShell gallery, you're going to see that it actually offers a single command that we can use to install the module, install module. So let's go over and install this right now in Windows PowerShell. So I'm just going to paste the command in. And I'm going to add verbose. I like adding verbose so I can see all the information and everything that is happening behind the scenes as the module is being installed. Now that the module is installed, I can list the commands that are available from the module using get command. So I'm going to do get command dash module posh SSH. And I can confirm that the module installed correctly and I can see all of the different functions that are available to me. In this case, this is for version 3.2 at the moment of this recording. One of the things that I did for this module is that included help information for all of the commands. You can access this just with the get help commandlet or help for the alias. Here you can see me just do a help for new session dash full, where you can see that I've documented each one of the different functions that are available to me. I've also included examples on how you can actually use the module itself and it has online version for this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an installation. I'm going to download the latest version of the module from the releases from GitHub. This is to do an offline installation. I'm going to be doing this against the open source version of PowerShell. So once I have downloaded the file itself, I'm going to go into its properties so I can unblock this because it's blocked by default, the DLLs and the scripts that are inside of the zip file. I'm going to uncompress the zip file. Once the zip file is uncompressed, so I'm going to be installing the module on um, both versions of PowerShell. I'm going to be showing you that if you look at your environment variable for PS module path, in this case for PowerShell, it is administrator documents, PowerShell modules. Now, if I check this variable in Windows PowerShell, one of the things that you're going to notice is that this path is different. So if I go env PS module path, you're going to see that is documents Windows PowerShell module. So this is one thing to keep in mind in terms of the path as you're installing the module manually into your environment. So I'm going to copy this path. I'm going to create this directory so I can put the content of the zip file inside of that. I'm going to use force so it creates the entire path for me. And now I'm going to just go to that folder. And I'm going to copy the Posh SSH folder that contains the manifest, the module, and all of the supporting files. So once it is copied over, the only thing I have to do just to check that it works is to just do an import, import module Posh SSH. I can see that it imported. And when I look at the verbose information, one of the things that you're going to notice is that it actually came from my documents folder, PowerShell module. So as you can see, the module, you have options of installing. You can find all of the information in the readme file. And I'll be doing other videos on how you can actually leverage this module itself. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.